Y'all know what always slay shit. Stop playing. All right, so we got her flat. That's how you get that. <laughs> Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to the channel. Make sure you name. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Join the fam, okay? Because I be putting out great content, good quality, consistently, okay? So make sure you subscribe, turn on your push notifications so you never miss a video from me. And make sure that you follow me on social media. I'm talking about Instagram, TikTok, Pinterest, all that good stuff. All of my links are in the description box down below on my link tree. So make sure you follow me there. And yeah, let's hop right into today's tutorial. Y'all see I'm looking crazy. My hair is super oily because last night I went to sleep with a lot of oil on my hair. So my hair can be nice and moisturized. And today I'm going to attempt to reinstall a, um, what is this called? It's not a quick weave. This is a U-part wig. Yeah. So if you, um, <laughs> if you watched my last U-part wig install when I did a middle part and I created my own unit by hand then you would know what i'm talking about but if not i'll put the link at the top of the screen so you can go back refer to that video if you want to know how to customize it yourself and then this video is an install but i'm going to attempt to do it as a side part in the past i did it as a middle part so let us for this comes out cute it's currently 2 48 and i gotta be somewhere about five o'clock babe so let's see what we can do first things first i'm gonna go ahead and section my hair out so i can do my braid down Okay, so all of this is going to be what I leave out. I like to leave a lot on this side because I like to do a big swoop and, you know, have hella edges. And this side is really going to be covered mostly by the unit. So we don't have to have too much out. I know I look crazy. My hair is dirty. We're going to wash the leave out, though, in a second. But all of this is just about to get regularly braided down. But first things first, you have to do your anchor braid. An anchor braid is a braid that's really, really small around the perimeter of your actual leave out. And this is going to be the little braid that the wig goes on to. And I promise you, you only need a little bit of hair because you do not want this to be bulky. <laughs> Some shit, man, but I be on my shit, man. I decided that what you give is what you give me. So I've been trying to do it right. I've been doing like whatever gets me through the night. What a life. I'm steady, always on the go. You steady, always on the go. We steady, losing all control. Y'all, one thing about me, my brain now won't be chunky and ugly as hell because besides all these viewers, who the hell won't see my brain on on a regular basis? Nobody! So it's gonna look crazy, but promise you it's gonna get the job done, okay? That's that's all that's all we need, okay? So now I'm gonna go off camera and wash my what is this called? Leave out, and we're gonna come back and it's gonna be blow dry and ready to go, and we're gonna style and install this unit, okay? All right, we are back. For those who are wondering, let me show y'all the shampoo and conditioner that I use on my leave out. So my Yale, I use their shampoo and I use the TGIN conditioner. This is my first time using this and I instantly fell in love. It's very, very moisturizing and it's thick, but it still gives my hair slippage. Um, anything from my Yale or TGIN are like my go-to products. Like holy grails love them and i just used my revlon blow dryer and almost broke my mirror um and in terms of 
leave out like heat protection this is what i use to blow out i love this stuff i had this for a while and i haven't ran out yet it's a lot in that bottle um and i was able to get my hair pretty darn straight with just using like the cool setting because i'm really trying to limit just how much um heat i put on my hair now i'm about to go ahead and clip in my units uh, i'm dead ass trying to rush like Y'all probably like, girl, your leave out is, I mean, I'm your leave out. Your, um, braid down is raggedy. You're rushing. You're moving hella fast. Yeah, girl, I got somewhere to be. I have somewhere to be. I'm gonna start in the front on this side. And I also messed up my, um, braid when I was blow drying my hair trying to make sure everything was dry but all you do is insert these little clips that you have on the unit and you want to make sure that you get them really stuck up under your braids so your unit don't go nowhere And then I also have one in the back. I look crazy right now. Just bear with me. Y'all know I always slay shit. Stop playing. <laughs> all right, so unit is in. And then all you have to do is style it and, um, Make sure you put your part where you want it to be at. So I'm going to go ahead and play around with that. I'm going to get my hot tools ready because y'all know. You know you got to slay this part. Okay, now that you at this part, you got to get that hot comb ready. You got to get your, what is it called? Your um flat iron ready because now you got to mow everything into place. And that's probably the part of the process that's going to take me the longest. So I'm going to go ahead and speed through that. Okay, because right now, we're looking crazy. But you go, just, just, this is the before. Okay. And then we're going to show you the after. edges and I want to show y'all someone in my comments asked me to do a baby hair tutorial so I'm like all right all right all right let me give you a little two for one real quick right here period I'm real ghetto and I need to stop it but anyways I wanted to show y'all how I do my edges right so boom first off first things first you gotta make sure you get a really good edge control okay a lot of people like different ones mine is the style factor if you know, you know the edge booster, okay? So, I like edge controls that have, like, waxy, thick consistencies, if that make any sense. So, like, this is what it looks like. If it will focus. That's, the, that's what the consistency looks like. Real thick, okay? Like, thickiana. Thickiana. Thick <laughs> edge control is the key for me, okay? for me so i'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit right here because when i do side parts i only like a like big swoop right here 
and then down here I'm going to do a swoop as well. Take your edge brush. My edge brush is dirty AF. I really need to clean it. Like it's actually disrespectful how dirty this joint is. So I'm not gonna show you, but I like to do a combination of brush, finger, swoop, and combing, if that makes any sense. So I first use the comb and I get out how many edges, how much baby hair I want. I always do mine super dramatic. And if you want your baby hair to look like your real natural hair to look anything like a, um, a, like a, a frontal, you have to use a lot of hair. That's the key. Um, you got to pull out a lot of hair to work with in the in the first place. And then I like to, you see how I'm, I'm swooping with the comb, but I'm also swooping with my finger to like smooth it out. That's what you got to do. And then I get the brush because I just wanted the comb to like go into the... The direction that I wanted it and now I use the brush because the brush isn't really going to allow me to gather my hair if that makes any freaking sense I hope it did I really hope it did <laughs> and then the other secret is you gotta brush until your fucking forehead hurt like that is that's how much that's how much I brush my hair when it comes to I'm getting my edges together. And swooping it back into the hair that it's near is also important as well because you just want everything to lay real nicely. As for the piece over here, I told myself I wasn't going to do this anymore. This will be the last time I do it, okay? I'm going to put a curl in my hair right here just because I want a little curly swoop because I plan on curling the rest of this hair. So um, if you have the tiny flat iron, I would suggest using that, but I don't have one. So I'm just going to use my regular flat iron and I'm just going to... Quickly curl that little sideburn and put a curl in it, okay? So this is what you should have, something that look like that. Now, you're going to get your same edge control, but you're only going to use a little bit. And you want to be really careful with this part because you don't want the curl to touch the edge control, which is very difficult. So I got a little bit on my finger right here. I'm only going to put it at the top part of my sideburn. If that makes any sense. And I'm not using too much. I just want to make sure that this gets really molded. But yeah, I just want to make sure that gets nice and molded. I'm holding on to the curl because I dead ass don't want it to touch it. And then I'm going to get my comb part. Comb her into place while using my finger to mold the hair. And like I said, I'm really not letting it touch the curl. I don't want it to touch the curl. And that's how you get that. I may put edges on this side. We'll see. But I'm going to lower y'all a little bit so you can see me curl the hair. First of all, I just need to get her back. Y'all, my camera wanted to die when I was curling this out of my head, so I'm sorry you weren't able to see that. But I just have to say, U parts, V parts, whatever the F you want to call it, they are so versatile. I highly recommend 10 out of 10. Okay, because how was I able to use the same exact unit for a bust down V part? And I can use it for a cute Laura style part as well. Yes, and these are Amazon bundles. Amazon bundles curling like this, straightening like that. Like, stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. Boom. So, we done flattened her out. We done curled her up. We done slayed the baby hairs. And I do think I want a little bit. Just a little sign right here because she looks dry. 
Give her a little life. Yeah. Definitely what we needed. That was definitely... Yeah, we, we just set it off now. We just set it off now. I use a little bit of holding spray. Okay, this is Trust Me. Because the girly definitely has some allowways or whatever. But okay, pray. I'm going to go ahead and continue getting ready because... I'd have had to push my little girl's night back a little bit, y'all. From 5, 5.30, even though I could, I still think I can make it on time. I just don't like to be late and I know it's with the traffic. Y'all probably don't give a shit. But anyways, this is basically the final product. It's giving what y'all think. I'm going to go put on some lip gloss because my lips is dry shit. And I'm going to come back when, like, I'm completely done. Okay? So, yeah, this is the final product. Let's zoom in on the edges that look like a frontal, like, this is giving realistic frontal don't play all right the hair came out nicely cute and curled it's giving if i do say so myself yesenia so yeah that is how i transformed myself real quick real fast and in a hurry that's how i do my baby hairs if y'all it's, it's not much more i can really do in terms of baby hairs just get you a good edge control and use the finger to swoop swoop use your comb use the brush like really get in there and take your time that's really all the tips that i can give you so yeah if y'all enjoyed today's video make sure you like okay please give it a thumbs up okay and uh, yeah make sure you're subscribed if you already haven't joined the fam and i will see y'all in the next one bye mom